Shema GTA chums, the de class drift Yozamita is on special offer. What's that, 600 to 900 grand? So I, I, I paid the 900 grand money, I think. You've also got the uh, payout gas, I've just reviewed that. And the retinue, I will be reviewing that. Um, but um, And the retinue is probably my favourite out of these three cars. But we're going to try the drift Yozamite to see if I can still drive that. Here it is. It's in my on the top floor of my garage. That's the red colour. Um, in the traffic light garage, but we are going to review it. We're going to first customize it, E, not Q, um, and then we are going to take it for a drive to show you how well it drifts. This drift before the invention of um, low grip tyres. Um, so we've done the armour and hopefully the brakes are all done and everything like that, all that good business. I'm going to show you the front bumpers and show you what you can go for um, that's different. So I've gone for the Mark II Valance with Splitter for, for fans of that. I mean, it may be too much. I quite like them little lights. No well, them little lights there, look at that. Let's have a look at all of them first. But I like I like that one, actually, with the little lights. I'm going to try that one for a change. This has little lights as well. Um, but we're going to get rid of that to make it a bit a little bit cleaner. I can't remember if the lights work or not. Rear, bu rear bumper delete. Actually, that's pretty cool to delete the rear bumper. Maybe I should do that. I've got fun time. Let's delete it. Go on. Knock yourself out. You've got to enjoy yourself with these things. Engine, yes. Exhaust, yes. Um, stock exhaust. Chrome ticket tip exhaust. Where is my exhaust? Where's it gone, dude? Anyone see my exhaust? Dude, where's my exhaust? Oh, it's there. It's six, I forget where it is. So chrome tip sticks out the side. I like chrome tip, actually. I'm going to change that. Grill, yes. We can colour it in the primary colour, um, which is nice. Um, actually, I think primary grill looks pretty damn good. Um, so, we're going to go with the primary grill. We can also primary grill and D-chrome. Whoa, that's just blown my mind. Is it blown yours? Let's do that. Secondary grill and D. Yes, let's forget about that bit. Alright, hood. The bonnet. This is it. Um, secondary colour, no. No, no. I mean, that ram air hood looks pretty nice as well. We might try something different and go for the ram air, actually. Um, just to be a bit different. Uh, liveries, so we've got horn, let's go for the liveries, so we've got yellow flames, we are restricted because it's the, it's got to be a red car right, so I am going to paint it red no matter what, but blue flames look pretty cool, but yellow flames might look a bit better with the red, I'm not sure why I went for blue at the time, but let's have a look at the other ones, um, so Patriot, something that will go well with the the red liviari, Ron Oil's pretty good, I like that one, I could use, I could do that one, and I like the rag of rum. I like the rag of rum liveries. Those are nice. Um, but I've already got one. I don't think it looks the best on this particular vehicle. So I'm going to go with, I don't know yet. Um, I've not figured it out, have I? Uh, but it might be. Did I think that one? Not rusty. Maybe it was a hard stand. Let's go with Ron Racing, shall we? I think that works. Get out, get out of that, I'm not doing that. Um, let's have a look at the plate. So we've got that, we've not got a plate. I don't think it even matters then. Um, respray, so primary colour is a red. Let's go for metallic for a change. Um, let's change it around a bit. Oh, I like the grey, that looks great. Silver looks brilliant with this livery, with the with the ginger colour, but we're not doing that, we're doing the red, which looks a bit worse. What about Torino red? I think red, red works, all right. It's cheaper as well. Metallic, secondary colour, classics. What does this colour up? All right, so it's the back end. It's the um, the flatbed. So I'm not sure. I'm not, sh I'm not super sure what's going to go well. Let's have a look at... Let's go metallic again. So I've got the ultra blue right now, but I think it's a bit too raggedy. I think we need some kind of... Maybe we need to go yellow. Maybe we need to go prime. Let's have a look. Or white. White would work, all right. Purple is too much. Um, I'm always struggling with all the, with these colours, so other than keeping it red. Oh, lava red doesn't work. Frost white. I have struggled to get these colours to match up before. We might have to change the livery here, just to get it red. Let's go with red. Red on red, because I'm struggling to get a different colour, other than black. Black looks pretty cool. That's, that's actually wine red. Actually, wine red looks black, doesn't it? So, for that reason, we're going to go with wine red. What about a pearlescent? Do you fancy a pearlescent? We've not had a look at these yet, have we? Um, orange pearlescent. 
Looks pretty funky. That makes it flame like, doesn't it? Orange. Yellow pearlescent. Looks pretty good as well. Green does not. I think it might have to be orange. I think blue contrasts it too much. So creams creams could work okay. Add a little bit of a shiny look to it or ice ice white. Ice white adds a waxed look to it, doesn't it? But I quite like the orange flame look. Where's it gone? Where's it gone? Let's go back to orange. Oh, Torino red. Oh, red, red. No, not red on red. Come on, figure it out. Salmon pink. Orange, bright orange. Orange or bright orange, yeah. Bright orange, I think, yeah. Because it's, it lightens it up nicely and... I think that's good. Okay, let's do. It. Let's um, continue on. Roll cage. You're probably going to need a real roll cage. Reinforced bed. Um, what, I took the roll cage out. I quite liked the roll cage. Um, actually, do they have a good roll cage? I'm not sure they do. I'm not sure I'm a fan of that. I think I like it clean. We're going to go for a clean one. Keep it clean. Roof. Ah, oh, what the hell? Rusty bed cover. Stock roof. Black rubber bed cover. Okay, we could have just colored it up. Primary bed cover. Secondary bed. Oh, so we got secondary or primary. Oh, we got those options. Why have I gone secondary? Now I look at it, I like the primary better. How ridiculous is that? Yeah, it is. I know it is. Um, we want to have a spoiler. Well, we don't necessarily because it is a drift car. Um, but we could go for something simpler. Um, we could do that. We could go for a big jeb end. I still like that kind of loud spoiler. I like that. But I also like the lip as well. Um, I think this lip one looks great as well. But I think this is classic, you know. The carbon wing is a classic. I'm going to leave it there. Suspension, you've got to go lowered. Um, so I'll show you what else you can go for. That's how high you go. So it already starts pretty low anyway. Um, sun strips. That actually looks good. We're going to have that. Transmission. We are race, transmission, truck bed. This is all primary tint. Oh, haven't we done this already? Tints. Yeah. I don't know. I can't see it because it's all underneath. So it's a bit useless. Turbo is done. Wheels. Um, right, so this is the... Um, these are muscle car wheels. And I think I'm probably going to leave them the same perhaps. But let's have a look. I mean, some of these look might look good. Let's have a look at the track wheels and see if we can find anything really groovy in there. Oh, that looks nice. The stove mesh. I like that. I mean, you've got the calipers inside as well, but I don't think these suit it. I think you want something chubby. I mean, we could go for the um, pepper pot. I think that's... Oh, that looks pretty damn good. The hidden six. It's a classic as well. Ooh, Dinker SPL. I don't know. Don't know. Hidden six, I'm thinking. I'm tempted to all that. We've got the Mega Mesh as well somewhere. Um, that's always good, isn't it? But I think I'm going to go with the hidden six. I think that's the way. Um, wheel colour. Let's just go straight black, maybe. Oh, do we want something completely out there? Out there, man. Red. Light red, that's completely the same, isn't it? It's not out there, really, is it? Orange. Bright orange looks pretty good as well. Oh, I'm coming with that. That's wrong, isn't it? Wrong or right? I feel like you're missing out on the Stance Andreas logo if you go black. So it'd have to be grey as the alternate to black. Uh, alloy. And that's pretty boring. So I'm going to go interesting. Tyres. Tyre smoke. We don't have any for some reason. We're going to go with red, though. Tyre enhancement. We have bulletproof tyre design. Do we want a design on it? I think we probably do. And we're going to go, guess what, Chappelle Yellow. Yes, of course we are. And we're pretty close. Windows, we can we can limo them out. Limo them out, for example. That would be nice. So let's, let's, let's go for limo. Why not? That is it. We are complete. We are complete. Yes. All right, this is the Drift Yosemite. Took, took a bit of a long time to complete that one, didn't it? Simeon, STFU. What is wrong with Simeon? 
He doesn't even realise I'm not his chum anymore. I'm not interested. Anyway, it is a fast... It's fast in a straight line. You know, it's good in drag races. You could crack on with that. But it slips a hell of a lot. And the sun's coming down. Look at that. Look at that. The back end. Um, it doesn't do wheelies. Let's have a quick look at what it does for a wheelie. So... Oh, it does do wheelies. But no, it doesn't hold them. You're not going to hold that. Or at least I had no joy with wheelies. Let's try it again. No, that's not right. Come on. Look at that. <laughs> it's like a stationary wheelie, so... Yeah, I don't think it's great at wheelies. I remember it being rubbish at wheelies, so... I don't think that's just me. But it, it's good at drifting, so... Come on, try to try and drive it like a proper car. Get it around. Get its back end out. Alright, let's have a go. Where do we want to go with this? Yeah. Not fast enough for a nice drift there. Sun's going down. That looks great. That is great. That's pretty damn good. It goes sideways, no problem. Right, we're on a big wide a big wide corner there. Corner junction. Oh it wheel spins. Yeah, there's a lot of wheel spin with this car. I think driving it around it takes a while to get used to. But I think it's nice good. You know it's not frustrating. I think yeah, you can really enjoy it. And get some power slides in or I shouldn't have put a handbrake on there. That was a bad move. Let's try again. Overall, look at that. Overall, look at that. I mean, is it worth it? Yeah, of course it's worth it. I'm still glad I paid... I paid 900 grand for it, so I paid the, um, the proper price. Um, not the discount, which you can get. But for me, at 900 grand, I think it was worth it. It's a unique car, you know. It's it's the original drift car. Well, one of the original. Or the Fukaru. Fukaru? The Futo. Futo, that's the one. Is obviously also a drift car. It came before this one, but this, this is a mighty fine car. I've got to say, I like trucks that are lowered to the ground because the ones like this, you know, that don't do the off-road for a change. This is not built to do off-road trucking, and it's not at all. I've never taken it off-road, and I wouldn't because it's not got any kind of ground clearance, especially when you lower it. But as far as trucks are concerned, it looks great. And it really performs. It's great for car meets. You can go in there. You can meet your chums. They'll go. They'll be wowing at this, going, "Wow, we, what's that?" The drift Yosemite. That's what it is. Everyone knows what this is. But if, if then, if your chums are new to GTA, they might be thinking, "Wow, it's not new. It's an old car. It's been around for quite a long time now." But it's a nice car. It's a very nice car. So, do I recommend it? Yeah. Yeah, I recommend it, but only on the condition that you can handle the driving and enjoy driving a car that drifts like this. You know, you're not going to be racing in it, really, unless you want to do drift racing. Just general messing around car, that's what it's about, that's what it's all about. And I think the customization is pretty good as well. You know, it's got a few nice liveries to choose from, and I was a bit unsure about this livery, but I do like it now, I've put the flatbed in the same colour, which uh, that was a mistake of mine earlier, I think, to put that in the secondary colour and try and go over funk with it. But yeah, pretty damn good car. Fun fun to drive. Recommended. It, I don't think it's the car of the week though. I don't think it's the recommend we've reached recommendation of the week. But this might be this might be the second best car on offer this week. I think it's probably the second best car. So yeah, I think the retinue is my fir the first. I'm pretty sure of that. But I might change my mind when I drive the retinue later on. Anyway, if you found that useful, I hope you have. I really enjoy this car. I hope you enjoy it too. Drop a like and a subscribe if you have found it useful. But thank you very much for watching and have a great day. If you are playing a game that is sounding a little bit like GTA. Have a good one.